So I steamed for about 30 minutes and my hair feels incredibly soft and moisturized. As you can see, even the thin ends look thick or slightly thick and swollen. So they're not as skinny as they were in the beginning. Hi lovelies, welcome to my channel, my name is Chimmy Juliet and if you have seen my previous video, yes my hair is thinning and I broke everything down in that video so this video is basically what I'm doing to my hair to recover it so it's like my journey from my thinning hair back to thick hair so without further ado, this is my routine. The first things first, I always start off with pre-pooing. I don't joke with pre-pooing and I start off with my Equibotanics. One of the reasons why I really love this hair serum is that you can use it like for five different things. You can use it as a hot oil treatment, you can use it as a daily scalp treatment and it is just fantastic because it is so packed with organic oils that are proven to help with hair growth which is perfect for my hair loss journey black seed serum and i have used their products in another video so this is not the first time i'm using this and i absolutely love all their products and what i do first is i just take off the cap which is really useful for preventing the oil from leaking and this is what it looks like it's, this oil is a mix of ayurvedic herbs and oils that are perfect for hair growth and it is highly concentrated so this is what it looks like okay so i just take this amount and i'm going to take my hair down because it's so highly concentrated you don't need a lot so you just take about two to three pumps and when you do that just rub it all over your hands like so like so and go over your hair make sure you go over your hair so my hair is already sectioned in about a dozen twists I'm just going to go over all the twists like so you don't need a lot just very little I'm going to add like three more pumps one two three and make sure I get it in my <laughs> at the tips of my fingers because I'm going to use this on my scalp. So just go in and just gently massage it in. So as you can see, the ends of my hair are quite skinny, as you can see the roots is having new growth and then the ends are quite skinny. I've chosen not to cut off the thinning ends yet because I want to see how it transitions. So that's why it's a journey from thin to thick hair. So that's why I'm leaving them on and honestly they don't bother me, I don't really plan on no wearing my hair out like in a braid out or a twist out but I will show you what a twist out will look like on my thinning hair right now so that will probably be my next video my hair is still the same length it's still really long I do have a video on what the current length of my hair is right now so you can check that out as well and yeah so once I'm done massaging this serum into my scalp and rubbing it on the length of my hair I just put a shower cap over it so you can leave the serum in overnight or you can leave it for an hour it really depends on how much time that you have just to let it sink in soak in for it to do its work and for me right now I'm just gonna be leaving it for an hour I'll be back to show you you know what it looks like and then we'll move on to the next stage which is shampooing so I'll always say that um, for me the only thing that I don't like about the product is the smell so if there was a way to get um, an unscented version that would be wonderful so 
because I'm really sensitive to smell. So for people like me who are sensitive to smell, I would say that this is a bit strong and it can be overpowering if you use a lot of it. So yeah, and a little goes a long way. All right, lovely, so it's been an hour and my hair looks like this. It's really quite steamed up, really puffy, feels quite soft and I'm hoping it looks shiny, <laughs> but this is what it looks like. And I'm going to move on to the shampoo. And this is the shampoo I'll be using. All right, so the last time I used these products, I didn't use the shampoo on camera. So I'm gonna be using the shampoo on camera this time around so you can see what it looks like. So I'm just going to wet my hair and then I'll come back and then apply this. Okay, so I just wet my hair and just so you can see, when I wet my hair, you can really see the difference between the thick and the thin. So this is what it looks like. It's really glaring when my hair is wet as opposed to when it's dry. When it's dry, I can really blend it, but then when it's wet, it's super obvious. All right, so I'm taking the shampoo and it's smells very similar to the hair serum yeah but not as overpowering so just in case for my sensitive girls out there and I just love the fact that it is slimy like you could detangle with this so let's start off by putting it on the edges of my hair and all over my scalp first. I like to focus on my scalp first. And if I've got products like gel, which I do have on my hair right now, I will work it through the length of my hair. So I usually shampoo my hair twice. If I feel that one time is okay, then I don't shampoo twice, just once. So I know a lot of girls in the natural hair community don't like to shampoo, but shampooing is absolutely necessary to get all the dirt and the product viewed up out of your hair. I am for shampooing. I don't skip shampooing on any of my wash days. Even when I want to cut corners, I always, always shampoo. See, I can actually detangle with the shampoo. Let me show you with one twist. If you're new to this channel, I shampoo and condition my hair in twists. But um, for the sake of you all, let me remove this one. And just to show you how nice this shampoo is, is that it is, see? I can easily detangle with this. Like, look at that. It is super easy. Look at that, done. <laughs> and I just had just one strand come out. So, it is super easy to detangle with this. Um, I'm gonna go through my hair. You know what, I'm going to go through each twist with the shampoo and just to make sure I get oil out because I did have gel in my hair before I pre-pooed. So, snap. Um, I'll go through it fairly quickly because my hair is um, twisted properly. I didn't borrow from any section, so it's easy to unravel. Um, it's easy to run through. As you can see, it should be easy to run through. And, and I just twist back immediately. All right, so I can really feel the peppermint tingling my scalp. And then I'm going to rinse now, and I'll let you know if I have to reapply the shampoo after rinsing, because I can't tell until I rinse it out the first time. 
Okay, so next I'll be using the Babasi hair mask and I have used this again in the previous video of mine and it is absolutely wonderful. It's got, it's packed with so many good ingredients. Another thing I love about this brand is that they are black owned and they are also available to ship internationally. So my hair felt really clean after the first wash so I didn't have to shampoo again even if I had used gel previously so that shows that shampoo is really good then I am going to be using this next I really like this deep conditioner and I would want to apply this to the full length of my hair so I'll just be taking down the twists really quickly and just applying it and then putting them back up but to rinse I wouldn't take the twists down again I'm quite heavy handed when it comes to deep conditioners so but you don't have to be a little goes a long way so I'm focusing on the ends the thing and then working my way to the top making sure that it is completely absorbed by my hair and then the same for this side so it's really easy to detangle with this as well and then twist I honestly love how this conditioner makes my hair feel even the thin sides of my hair look slightly thicker and that's absolutely amazing like it just shows that it's a really good conditioner all right so i'm done applying the deep conditioner all through my hair it took me about 10 15 minutes and i was really quick so this deep conditioner really works when there is heat applied to it so not just using a shower cap but also using like a steamer if you have one or you could just wear your shower cap and then use a blow dryer to then steam your hair if you don't have a steamer and i'll be leaving this in for about 30 minutes under a steamer i use this steamer to steam my hair because it's affordable and it works So I steamed for about 30 minutes and my hair feels incredibly soft and moisturized. As you can see, even the thin ends look thick or slightly thick and swollen. So they're not as skinny as they were in the beginning. So this is the power of deep conditioning. So yeah, I hope to be deep conditioning and shampooing or just doing my routine every week or every two weeks so just to make sure that my hair is always thriving and not just surviving okay so this is what it looks like i'm going i'm going to rinse now and then i'll come back see how shiny it is see how shiny that is i'm going to rinse now and then come back so we could do a twist out okay, so i'm all done rinsing now and my hair is super soft and still very shiny i went ahead to start twisting these with leave-in conditioner so this is what it looks like Hi lovelies, so thank you all so much for watching till the end. The details of this twist out will be in my next video. So how I got it so defined, how I blended both, both thin and thick sides of my hair together to make it look okay. 
it will all be detailed in my next video so thank you all so much for watching don't forget to live well live great and pray always god loves you and god bless you take care now bye